Okay, welcome everyone. I'd like to call this meeting to order uh, on April 18, 2023, public information meeting at 7.01 p.m. And I will start with roll call. Councilor Goya. Present. Councilor Spoulos. Present. Councilor Bailey. Here. Councilor Hurst. Present. All right, do we have any disclosure of pecuniary interests? All right, seeing none. <laughs> The purpose of this public meeting is to inform and provide the public with the opportunity to ask questions or to express views with respect to the proposed user fees and charges bylaw. Councillors are here to observe and listen to your comments. However, they will not make any decisions this evening. Township requests you notify by email Mary Hassan at mhassan at pusslinch.ca or by phone at 519-763-1226, extension 222, if you wish to be on record regarding this matter. Please note the meeting is video and audio recorded and all meetings are uploaded to the municipality's YouTube page. By attending this meeting in person or by registering to participate in the meeting by electronic means, you are consenting to have your likeness and comments recorded and posted on YouTube. The format of this public meeting is as follows. Township staff will present the purpose and details of the public meeting and any further relevant information. Following this, the public can obtain clarification, ask questions and express their views on the proposal. Members of the public are permitted attendance okay. to ask okay. questions and express their views. This time is limited as imposed to provide each member of the public an opportunity to speak. Council will then have an opportunity to ask any clarification questions. Staff will attempt to answer questions or respond to concerns this evening. If this is not possible. Staff will follow up and obtain this information. Responses will be provided when this matter is brought forward and valued by Council at a later date. All right. I believe Mr. Sand is going to present for us. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I'm just going to um, start the presentation slides. The door says closed session, but I assume it's not closed oh, session. Anymore. Yeah, we just forgot to remove the um, sign from earlier. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Uh, can you see the presentation materials? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Um, so this is just uh, one of our first steps in our budget process. Um, so I'll just go to the next slide. Um, so where do township revenues come from? Uh, what? Why do we collect user fees? What changes are being proposed for 2024? Um, we've done a benchmarking analysis. Um, we've provided some engagement opportunities, which I'll discuss further uh, throughout the presentation. Um, and we can hold questions until the end of the presentation. Uh, but just a quick summary, the main objective is to inform you about the township's finances and the proposed user fees and charges and receive feedback that staff and council consider uh, before finalizing the bylaw uh, at an upcoming council meeting. Sorry, I think I'm just having, I just wanna make sure I'm sharing the correct slide. Is that, can Miss White Fox, does that look a little bit better? Um, yeah. Mr. Chair, it looks better. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, so this here is just a graph um, regarding where the township's revenues come from. Um, so as you can see, property taxes, uh, user fees, licenses and fines, grants and other recoveries, payments in lieu of taxes um, and other lev levies and penalties and interest. So user fees are an important uh, input into the operating budget. Uh, so we've actually started uh, working on budget development. Um, and one of our first steps was the budget process and service level review uh, that occurred on September 6th. Um, today we're having our public information meeting. We've had a, a survey on Engage Puss Lynch uh, from August 21st, and it, it's going to close on October 6th um, at 12 p.m. In October, we'll be presenting our first draft of the capital budget to council. In November, we'll be presenting our first draft of the operating budget to council. 
Uh, from November to January, we're going to have another survey regarding the budget on engageplusLunch.ca. Um, in January, we're going to have a public information meeting uh, just for the budget input process. And then uh, the goal is to adopt the 2024 budget in February. So the primary reason that we collect user fees is to allocate the cost for specific services to the users of those services. Uh, some costs and services are not full cost recovery, um, and it depends on the fair market costs and the service levels set by council. Uh, there is specific legislation um, for specific departments. So the building department is legislatively mandated to be fully funded uh, from building permit fees. And the Planning Act stipulates that the planning application fees are designed to meet only the anticipated cost of the township. Uh, so annually, we do look at all of our user fees and charges to ensure that they closely reflect the actual cost for providing the service. But we also look at what other comparator municipalities are charging. Um, we've adjusted some of we've adjusted most of our user fees and charges by the consumer price index for Ontario from May to May uh, of 2023, which was 3.1%. Uh, the next few slides will discuss what the fees changes recommended for each department are. Uh, these exclude any fees that have been automatically increased by the CPI inflation rate. In the administration cost center, we've incorporated a Doors of Puss Lunch poster fee uh, based on an, an initiative led by the Heritage Advisory Committee um, that was approved by council as part of the 2023 operating budget. Uh, we've cleaned up some of the fees in our Fire and Rescue Services Department, um, removed a couple of fees as noted in this um, slide, just based on uh, the services being provided by another provider, uh, and we haven't charged these fees um, in the past. In the planning department, uh, we're updating some of our fees as it relates to some changes uh, to service levels. Um, one of them relates to the planner position for the township, uh, which would result in uh, the township no longer paying fees to the county for their planning services. Um, and so that due to these changes in the service levels, uh, we are no longer required to separately invoice applicants for the fees, fees paid to the County of Wellington for their services. So these administration fees in the planning department have been adjusted to reflect this change. Uh, the fees noted on this slide also are subject to the township's disbursements and third party consultant fees uh, for the processing of applications. Uh, in the bylaw cost center, we've incorporated a kennel license alteration application fee, um, and the fee proposes for the cost recovery associated with the service. Um, we've also um, itemized uh, a further fee as it relates to site alteration permit applications for normal farm practices, and the fees recommended are for the cost recovery associated with the service. In the parks department, we've incorporated a new fee, um, a soccer field with lights fee. Uh, and so um, we had a previous fee without lights, but now that we are uh, in the process of um, finalizing the construction of our soccer fields, um, we are recommending that this fee be implemented. And the fee recommended is um, based on a benchmarking, uh, benchmarking analysis that we did on uh, some of our comparator municipalities, as well as the costs for um, operating a soccer field with lights. Uh, we're just recommending another itemized fee in the Post Lynch Community Center, and that's for uh, security deposits for kitchen facility uh, only rentals. Um, and we're also recommending that we continue to uh, have the non-resident surcharge for PCC rentals um, continue to be in place uh, as part of our 2024 budget. Uh, 2024 budget and user fees. Uh, Council at its meeting on August 16th uh, requested that we. Um, select 10 high frequency user fees and perform a benchmarking analysis to demonstrate that the township fees are comparable to uh, similar municipalities. Um, so we've chosen 10 fees, um, one from each department. Uh, there's gonna be a slide uh, coming up that will discuss which fees those were. Um, and we compared the township's fees to uh, comparator and boundary municipalities. Uh, this slide just notes which comparator and boundary municipalities we looked at. 
Um, so there are some, uh, a couple of changes that we recommend based on this benchmarking analysis that we completed. Um, so you'll see on this slide uh, which fees we looked at and what the median fee was and what the average fee was compared to what uh, we had proposed we changed the fee to in uh, the report that was presented to council um, in August. Uh, so we noticed when doing the benchmarking analysis that our fee structure is different from comparator municipalities um, with some of our fees. Um, one fee is the routine disclosure fee. Um, we don't recommend a change because it is, um, the fee is consistent with what we charge for freedom of information requests. And we do charge uh, additional fees on top of the $5 fee, depending on the amount of search time um, staff are undertaking in order to uh, search for the records. Um, there's also additional fees um, that I won't get into here, but um, it it uh, the, the fee that we recommend for routine disclosure is consistent with the fee for freedom of information requests, which are um, in accordance with the uh, legislation. Uh, for tax certificates, um, our fee was in line with our comparator and boundary municipalities, so we don't recommend a change. Uh, for entrance permit residential, um, again, the township's fee structure is different from other municipalities because we do charge a different fee for each type of entrance permit based on staff time associated with the service. Um, for example, an entrance for permit for a commercial or industrial property versus a uh, residential uh, has a different fee in our structure. So we don't uh, recommend that we change our fee. Our open air burning permit fee was um, a little bit lower compared to our comparator and boundary municipalities. So we do recommend that we do increase this fee in 2024 to be in line with um, the benchmarking that we completed. Uh, our minimum building permit fee, uh, we don't recommend an adjustment on this fee in order to encourage individuals to continue to uh, obtain building permits and our fee is in line with our immediate neighbors. Uh, compliance letter type one, Again, this is another one of our fees where our fee structure is different from compared to boundary municipalities. We do have two different fees depending on the complexity of the request. Um, and each fee is different in terms of the, the staff time associated with each request. Um, so we do, we do not recommend that we adjust this fee. Uh, dog tags. Um, Again, the township's fee structure is a little bit different in terms of dog tags, um, depending on the dogs. Other municipalities charge different fees depending on the dog's age, whether the dog is spayed, neutered, or microchipped. So um, we do like our, our, our fee structure and uh, don't, don't recommend that we change that. Ball diamonds lights. Um, again, this is another one of those fees where our immediate neighbors Fees are very much in line with the township's fee, so we don't recommend that we change this fee. Uh, ICE Prime, uh, so we are recommending um, that the fee be increased to be in line with comparator municipalities and the cost recovery associated with this service. Um, we will be reporting back to council as part of an upcoming council report um, prior to passing the bylaw, um, just uh, explaining what the fee what the final fee is recommended for the ICE Prime. Um, the Hall Prime non-resident rental or commercial rental, we are recommending that this fee be increased and um, the increase is in line with compared to municipalities and also the cost recovery associated with uh, renting the Hall um, during prime times. Uh, so as previously indicated, we have incorporated a number of engagement uh, opportunities for our 2024 proposed user fees and charges. Um, so we will be soliciting Recreation Advisory Committee input um, at their upcoming meeting. Um, we have uh, advertised the Engage Plus Lunch survey on social media and, um, yeah, social media. Uh, and I believe we've also advertised it on the Wellington Advertiser. Uh, the Community Engagement Survey is still open until October 6th at 12, uh, and that's on engageplusslunch.ca. Um, we've advertised uh, this information on our website um, and our public information meeting today and uh, some media releases regarding the survey. 
I'd be happy to answer any questions uh, from the public. Okay, hey, thank you, Mary. I'll just wait for Ms. White Fox. Oh, there it is. Um, if there's anybody in the gallery that would like to ask questions, I uh, would just request that you state your name and address when um, you do move over and just raise your hand if you're interested in asking some questions virtually. Hopefully they know how. Or just bring them over and ask them. Who is it? What's the name? All right, we'll not see any in our local reporter left. Should I wait for their return? Lily, I'm going to give you one more opportunity to um, ask a question. That's the only attendee, right? Does council have any uh, clarification questions regarding this presentation? <laughs> We're just waiting for your return to see if you have any questions that you wanted to ask our director of finance or staff. Oh, I'm good. You're good? Thanks. Okay. All right. I declare this public meeting closed. Council will take no action on this matter tonight. Staff will be reporting at a later date with a recommendation for Council's consideration. If you wish to receive further notification on this matter, notify by email Mary Hassan at mhassan at or by phone at 519 763 1226, extension 222. Only those persons who leave their names will be provided further notification. If you wish to speak to the matter when it is brought before Council in the future, you must register as a delegation with the township clerk prior to the meeting. I believe that's it. Good job. Good evening. Thank you.